all of us here for another year to spend Christmas together, opening up their home to a crazy, crazy family. Um, I think you guys might need to put another dish in your house with their group. But every Christmas we celebrate comes with it a lot of joy and a lot of sorrow. And this year I started looking back on all the things that we have to be grateful for. And we have new babies born. Uh, we have two new babies in our family, Mickey and Emmett. Um, we have two new engagements. Um, Monica is not here with us. She's with Sam and his family. And um, Anthony. Okay, Mickey, they'll be back next year. People coming in all the way up in Minnesota, to Virginia, Sheila and Adam, and Billy and Therese and their family. I'm really happy that you're here. Um, and then, obviously, I'm going to miss some things, but having Jack home. Where's Jack? Right here. And your beautiful girlfriend, Felicia. <laughs> and if you need a glass of wine to help you unwind. <laughs> My dad knows a guy. <laughs> um, <laughs> but this year has also brought sorrow. Because it's our first Christmas without um, mom, grandma, Gigi. And I'll just refer to her as mom for, 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 sake, for, for time's sake. Um, she loved Christmas. Um, and I look back and I look at why she loved Christmas so much. And I think the biggest reason, well, one of the biggest reasons was the fact that she was with, she got to be with all of you. And Mike and I left today and, and we drove by her house. Um, this is the first year we didn't pick her up. Um, but in the years past, we'd, we'd pick her up and she'd always be standing at the door ready, waiting with her coat on and Nellie at her side and she'd have her bags of tins of toffee waiting for all of you. And she was super excited to be with you. And then she would come and plant herself right here on the couch and hold court with all of her grandchildren. And then on the way home, she would just brag about all of you. She was in awe of you. And she loved each and every one of you. And the other big reason she loved Christmas because she understood what it was all about. The real meaning of the season. She spent her life being totally united to Christ. But especially during this season, she was so close to him. And last year she wasn't with us. Um, Mike and I had the honor of being with her in her home, and it was just like a silent night, the three of us. Um, we didn't know her cancer had come back. And she was really sick. But she never lost her joy. Um, and we sing Christmas carols at night, and just she just prepared for the Christ child, knowing that six weeks later that she'd be with him in heaven. So we missed her last week. Um, I wanted to make this Christmas super special for our family because she's such an um, important part of all of our lives. So about two months ago, uh, you guys know a friend of mine, Liz, who's uh, someone who was a, a master embroiderer and I was I stopped at her house one afternoon and she was downstairs embroidering a, a Christmas stocking and I said oh my gosh I have a great idea and I said could you could you make one of these stockings could you do this for my brothers and sisters um, and then in the stocking we can put the personal things of moms um, things that we can remember her by and then as I started thinking, I said, that's not going to work because all of you held such a special place in her heart. So I said, um, actually, I'm not going to need eight. I'm going to need 78. <laughs> <laughs> so Liz started embroidering 78 stockings. And as she started embroidering them, I called Peggy up and I said, I have this idea. Can you help me? And she was, she was game in. So we got to work, as Liz was embroidering the stockings, we started filling them. And it gave us a great opportunity, very therapeutic, of going through all of the things. Um, so 
tonight, all of you guys are going to get a stocking. And every family will have a different font. Um, but there's 78 in total. And in your stocking, you will find something of great value. Um, and I won't get into the details of what those things are. Um, but things that are uh, a memory of your mom, your grandmother, excuse you. And even in some of the stockings, you'll find some toffee. Mm -hmm. Not all, because I would still be home baking. <laughs> so the ones who have toffee have to share. Um, I don't know how we're going to do this, um, but I can tell you that this project was totally inspired by mom. I know she was very concerned when she was dying, that, um, very concerned that we would miss her a lot. And we do, we miss her a lot. Um, but she is with us more so today than ever. Um, so we need to carry on that same joy that she possessed, always. Um, not just today because it's Christmas, but. It's Christmas Eve. <laughs> 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 Get it right, will ya? Silly me! This is a language! Uh, so, dirty! Um, but Peggy and I had so much fun doing this project. We worked on it for the past two months. Um, and it was really, it was, it was just, it was so beautiful because it, it showed us how much she loved each and every one of you and that relationship that you each had individually with her. So you'll see that coming through the door. We have our stockings here. Oh, John, bend with the knees. Is that a Roxy's? Yeah. 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 I'm 